So in um, uh, in this video, I will introduce the notion of a definable set. So we say that a set X is uh, definable in a structure, uh, and it, and it may be some subset out of the n length product of the domain. But uh, the the set X is definable if there exists a phi in the language with n free variables that we label V with M extra free variables that we label uh, with W's. But really, what, keep in mind, the, the main claim is on the existence of such a phi and the existence of some element in the uh, uh, product of sets. This is just any constant should we want to fix it. Um, I'll show you the use of it later. But... Um, uh, in any in any case, uh, such that X just is the set of things satisfying uh, uh, satisfying phi upon substitution, so to speak. I mean that's a little bit of uh, abuse of language because it's really M doing the satisfying. But you know the the set of things which if you substituted them m would satisfy under that substitution so basically it's the set of things that uh, uh, for which phi is true in some sense that's the sort of intuitive notion or the the sort of intuitive shorthand here is that a set is definable if its elements are precisely the things that make some some formula true is basically the intuition um, some examples will hopefully help. So again, take the empty language, a structure uh, which just has this domain, the natural numbers. I claim that the set of all natural numbers is definable in this structure, and the empty set is definable in this structure. Uh, to get the set of all natural numbers, I will take phi. It only has one free variable with uh, uh, in, in the v's, so to speak. No, none of the W's, so I didn't actually end up needing them in this example, and just take phi to be this sentence. Now, under, under this structure, um, the structure will satisfy this formula upon any substitution. Therefore, uh, everything in the set X satisfies this, and everything that satisfies this is in X. So, that means that uh, uh, phi defines this set. For the empty set, I could take psi, again only having one free variable, to be this uh, negated equality. Really, it's just negation phi. And um, everything in the empty set satisfies this, and everything that satisfies this is in the empty set, so this formula defines the empty set. Uh, I could also define the set of uh, curly brace one, just yeah, the singleton of one, by the sentence uh, chi. This time I use two variables, uh, and I take chi to be the uh, equation of these two variables. I choose this element, my you know my particular choice out of the uh, domain. Uh, and the singleton of one is precisely the set of things that satisfy uh, chi with substitution into A, where I fix this variable as being one. Um, I claim that it is impossible to define the set of all even uh, natural numbers in this language and structure. Uh, I leave it to you to sort of ponder that, and we will continue some examples in the next video.